This is not your everyday run-of-the-mill gun shop. Nine millimeters, we've got A2s, we've got A4s, we've got M4s, we've got AK-47s. 249, 240, M16, uh, 203, Mark 19. Night vision goggles, night vision devices, satellite navigation. This is a state-of-the-art, small arms and equipment maintenance issuing and receiving facility with top class personnel. Three to five thousand weapons, night optics and radios go in and out of here on a weekly basis. There's 23,000 plus weapons in here, 249,000 other accessories. The primary mission is to support the infantry center schoolhouses with equipment that they need to train the soldiers. Each weapon and piece of equipment is meticulously accounted for, inspected, cleaned and serviced to make sure they are in good working order and safe for soldiers to use. They're completely disassembled and cleaned and then all inspections are done every time the weapon has come in. Every weapon, every optic, every radio that we get in here has to be inspected, torn down. We need to make sure that those items are all at 1020, fully mission capable, serviceable equipment, so we don't impede the training we're providing to the soldiers here at Benning. So the next soldier getting that piece of equipment is gonna get a top quality piece of equipment. The Army requires the work here to be of the highest standards because the end products go into the hands of American soldiers. We try to get the weapons out as best we can, as fast as we can, as, and the quality as high as we can have it because we know that there's soldiers that are going to be using these weapons and we don't want to have something go out that's going to harm a soldier. It's very important to make sure all these weapons are straight before they leave the weapon room because you're training them soldiers out there. You don't want no accident to happen to them soldiers. You know, somebody might get hurt. Having a consolidated equipment pool allows soldiers to do what they do best, train, and leaves all the equipment, storage, and maintenance details to the experts here at the pool. It really saves a lot of manpower on the units. The soldiers are able to train without having to worry about an authorization to have an, an armor or a uh, gunsmith on hand. We do it all for them. They have teams to do everything. They have maintenance teams. They have teams that come out and inspect, make sure the weapons are clean. Then they have the guys that do the scanning and the issuing the weapons. The staff here not only run a tight ship, but they also want to make sure they do everything possible to facilitate smooth, painless transactions for their customers. The things we wanted to make sure we did for the soldier was one, we don't want to make him wait at the gate. The sooner we can get it out, the better for them. If we put out a quality product in a timely manner, you know, the customer is happy and we maintain that good working relationship with the customer. So we try to keep the soldiers happy. Once you get in the gate, it, pretty, it runs pretty smoothly though. The guys there on it, they work very hard. You're not going to see another operation like this one in the Army.